In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at Kami. Kami is an online document and annotation tool. You can highlight, you can underline, and you can write on a PDF. So let's go ahead and take a look what that looks like from a student's point of view. So let's go ahead into Classwork. And then we're going to select Kami Assignment. And then we're going to select this PDF right here. Now there's two ways you can open with Kami. You could open with and annotate with Kami here, or just select Open with Kami. Now you see the PDF and then on your left hand side you will see the text will come up automatically. Now 24 and 30 are usually a pretty good font size to choose. Um, let's just keep it at 24 for right now and you can see that it's going to be uh, writing in black. You could change it by going to more colors here and you could do that if you'd like to. Now if I want to go ahead in let's just say I want to put my name here or put my name in here. There we go. We could now move this around if we'd like to. If we'd like to make it a little bit larger font size, I can go ahead and say, hey, I'd like that to be 30, or possibly you'd like it to be a little bit smaller. It's up to you, but you can go ahead and change that. Um, one thing to point out, you can, you can see how it's automatically saved. If you'd like to undo it, you can undo things right away as well. Uh, so that is a nice feature to have. Let's go ahead and put this in, and let's move it back to, uh, let's move it back to 30. All right, so there's 30, and let's get that last little bit as well. All right, so now we're back at 30. So what we can now do is come down in here and just start filling out the worksheet. And this typically is what Kami is used for the most. And maybe maybe 30 is a little bit too large, so maybe we want to shrink it to 24. Um, so you'll just go ahead through. If there's somewhere where a mistake is made, like I said, you can always undo things. So if we said that this one was 83, um, of course, you could go ahead and undo, which would take those last things back. Or what you can do, let's say we did this again, we had 83 in here. You could just click in here or select in here, backspace, and type in 93. So you can do that. Now, a few things to point out up here. Um, so there's a dictionary. So let's just say we wanted to have this word here. Here it is, comes up and lets you know the definition of the word. Over here, we can go in and a little text to speech, which is nice to have. Uh, if you'd like, let's just say you want to have Add the whole two digit numbers in columns. No regrouping. Grade one. OK, so it can go through and do that. You can change the voice here if you'd like to as well. Also, if you know there's only a few words that you would like to have read, you could just highlight uh, those no words and it would read it for you. Now, there's the markup tools and the markup tools. Here we have a text highlighter and Let's go ahead and use uh, yellow for right now. So if we want that, we can go ahead and you can see how it's just a little bit highlighted. Box highlighter is just a little bit larger. Let's go ahead and you can see how it can do this whole thing here. Again, if you want to undo something, you can just undo it. And there's a strike through and there's an underline. Of course, you can always change the color. Over here, there's a comment, the ability to comment. So let's go ahead and do that. So if there was something that I was uh, had a question about, as a student, I could go ahead and I can, uh, let's just highlight this one here. So if I do that, you know, I can type in, had a question about this, and the teacher would be able to see that. Now, there's also voice typing as well. Just wanted you to be aware of that. Um, you can always close out as well if you'd like to remove that. Um, again, a voice comment, you can go ahead And then you just have to allow the microphone. I had a question about this one. This one seemed a little bit difficult. Okay, so you hit stop and it's right there and uh, the comment comes right there. In here, there's a video comment if you'd like to do that as well, a screen capture. Um, for the most part, um, the text and the voice are typically uh, used. Again, here's a text box. There's equations if they wanna go ahead in and insert some symbols. Uh, especially for those in the higher grades or, you know, the greater than, less than. Uh, those are really uh, helpful to be able to, to use. Uh, down in here, there's a drawing. So you can, of course, go ahead in. There's a, there's a different a, a stroke thickness, if you will. So you can see this. I can go ahead and I can circle some things. Again, if things are a little bit, um, 
If it's too big, maybe you could go ahead and obviously change that thickness uh, to maybe a two and maybe the color you want to switch it so you can just circle it. So that's nice to have as well. Shapes, you can go ahead and do that. So you can insert some circles, some triangles, some lines, and again, you can change the stroke thickness. There's always erasers as well. So if you want to erase something, you can go ahead and do that as well. So just don't forget, if you erase something, then it's gone. You can always undo things as well. Um, in here, you can insert images. You can go into a Google search. You can insert some stickers. Um, sometimes stickers don't come up right away, just, just to point that out. Um, and then down in here, you can always toggle those uh, descriptions so you can see exactly what they are, especially for the younger grades, that is beneficial. Now, when you're finished and everything is filled out as you would like it to be filled out, of course, this one is not filled out, but let's go ahead in. You can see um, right up in here that there is a turn in. So let's go ahead and turn this in. You can see right away that things are, uh, that I can go ahead and do that. If you notice some things are not saved, um, you can always select save now and you can see that it's going to be saving and you can see all changes that have been saved. So just make a, you know, take a look at that, make sure that things are saved. It's always important to save things. Um, typically it's going to do an auto save, but every once in a while, you just want to take a look for that and then you can turn that in. Now, again, you can see it's saving to Google drive as well. And sometimes give it a little bit of time for it to turn in. Okay. It has now been uh, submitted so we can select done we can now go back to classwork and we can see if we go into view the work it has been turned in so we're good to go so there you go that is a brief tutorial on cami thanks so much for watching take care bye, -bye.